because I mean, I guess to preface it, like Kiwi Farms is an, is a is a U.S. intelligence property or COINTELPRO property, whatever you want to call it. It is an international uh, asset to Zog intelligence services. That's all it is. Um, that's why it exi- That's why it hasn't been completely blown offline. It's there to destabilize dissidency. Really, I mean, that's all it is. It has taken like the the site is basically it's sector right wingers, rightoids, and what it is is it revels in trying to turn people into lol cows, and it does not exclude actual political dissidents that are trying to actually do things. Like it's not it's one thing to a log Nick Fuentes, who's a fraud and a grifter, fine, but to go after my friends <laughs> or anyone that I know and just try to put that put everyone on the same level and then make the debate about that stuff. that person crunk lord that i've mentioned before who was like who was pretending that the uh, conservative canadian truckers thing was going to be a revolution like he's a he's a kiwi farms admit or at least mod i don't remember exactly i think he's a tech team. but anyway so i said so as much and um, I, believe he, I believe he helps on the i believe, I believe he helps josh out with tech stuff on some i don't know to yeah what that's extent. what i think he I, does I, I think it might have it might have even just been on the feddy side of things but yeah he helps uh, i don't know josh out with tech stuff. but i think josh pretends to be a political or he says he's a political, just like grafted he's not political i'm just out here to say the n-word and oh my god how did i get in trouble and why are people noticing that i did a bad job so anyway i get this well he, he, he i think josh does like the the schrodinger's uh politicizations when when it's convenient when when there's like you know like when he's got to you know make it when he feels like he has to make a stand then he's very mm-hmm. political and he's a free speech absolutist but when it's about anything else then yeah. he'll well, be a- to basically i'm I, i'm just a political um admin of this free speech board you know he's a he's a he's he's a free speech warrior when he has stepped on a rake and his website is getting some backlash somewhere that it deserves then he's a free speech absolutist. Like when he's getting, I don't know when he, when he's when he's when he's under attack because him and his, right. user, his, his user base that he totally doesn't control and has no responsibility for conveniently uh, has attacked somebody that has a lot of power and money and know how and he's getting taken out. It's like the other people that he has attacked and allowed his user base to sort of chill against uh, aren't siding with him. And this is very bad, and they should be because from a free speech. That's the thing that happens. Are you on mute because you walked away? Hello. No, I I, I muted for a second because I was I was opening up one of because I was looking for this comment. Oh, and I, I oh, I heard the tab. I heard a percussive thump, and I thought maybe you left the room or something. Like, oh no. That anyway. was, no, I think that was you coming back, coming in through because oh. I was opening up your stream. Oh, <laughs> your stream. okay. Right. Oh, like, okay. It was like that even makes your sense. voice that came through. But anyway, I have this. Yeah. Uh, I have this comment here. Thanks for calling out Graf for being a lolly pedo. First of all, I didn't do that. He is definitely a lolly fan. What I said when people accuse Graf of being a pedo, I say he's not worth defending. It's not worth your time because he's he has no solidarity with anybody he's, because he says he's apolitical. So if someone calls you a pedo, I just shrug my shoulders. I'm not going to stick my neck out for him anymore. That was what I said. Uh, so then he goes on. Kiwi Farms as a forum doesn't have a political position, but its owner is explicitly political. Would you like would you like to unpack that a little bit, Borzoi? This is just like or should I read the entire comment and then we'll go back through. I'll read the oh, entire okay. well, let me, well, I'll what's, read the entire script politics? and let's go back point by point by point. Kiwi Farms as I know, a forum. I know, I know he's I know he's a free he, he likes to position yeah. himself as a basically a free speech absolutist, but then okay, what else? Uh, the, right. Is if the all he's like if he if that's the extent to his politics then all he's arguing for is negative liberty and in, in a very narrow view of negative liberty he what what's his, what's his political position on living in in a society what kind of what kind of well, people does, he's left I'm not talking about just like politi- I'm not just talking about like parties or political groups like what who are his constituents who does he advocate for who are your people no to one. be to participate in politics is to participate in a political realm, to have a constituency, to have a demographic that you advocate for. Josh called out and, Graf for the pedo. And there's, no, oh, and there's no such thing as the free speech race. So, hmm. Josh called out Graf for the pedo anime shit a while ago as well. I, I don't really care. He just like, because Graf is a lol cow, Josh made fun of him. That's, that's the extent of politics on Kiwi Farms, making fun of lol cows. I know having... This is where it gets annoying. I know having your docs online sucks. So again, here's the rightoid that cannot operate outside of like... So it's yourself... So you're saying Kiwi Farms is bad because self-interest. 
can't 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 possibly process that there's a systemic problem that there's a broader issue i know having your docs online sucks but it would be somewhere else if it wasn't on kiwi farms so you know if i was make that argument if i wasn't if okay. i wasn't no if i wasn't occupying this palestinian home it would just be another jew same argument exactly aside from the docs hosting which is like end of sentence there's no aside from docs hosting there's no aside for being from being a fed um asset like that I feel like you and Josh would agree politically on quite a bit. This is this, I have seen this same comment verbatim so many times. Anytime like there's any anti Kiwi Farms thing is mentioned, and we don't really make a habit of doing it, but I've seen this every time. Aside from the stuff that makes him 100% totally your enemy, I think you would agree on a, on quite a bit. It's like no, I don't because he won't take down docs. He won't stop doxing. He won't stop his people from doxing. He won't stop hosting docs. He does everything. He makes every excuse he can to say that what he's doing is not doxing, right? I don't, I don't know anything about what docs of mine is on Kiwi Farms, as this person says, but that's not my motivation for why I don't like it. I don't like the site because this is what it engages in. in pretend, like, what is the point of your free speech absolutist? So why are you making fun of a graph for like anime pedo shit? Anime pedo shit falls under free speech if you're a free speech absolutist. So what are you making fun of him for? You're just because you want to host docs because your job is to host docs. That's what Kiwi Farms is well, there I for. Mean, I mean, the argument for that is, well... I know. I'll speak. I mean, you're free to not like something just as long as you don't actually ban it or have the government involved. Right. So, <laughs> because that's the way it always boils down to. I mean, this is how libertarians got their shit wrecked. Is like, well, as long you know, as long as it's a private company. Well, the private companies completely took you off the internet. Right. So aside from this comment, though, somebody I don't know because I because I made fun of Graph two weeks ago and just, and single-handedly put him out of business by the way right he totally like he's he's quitting because i made fun of him i'm going to take credit on that because that's what people say <laughs> every time something bad happens to somebody you go, damn sven and trs like yes i did that treat me with more respect and it'll stop happening to you um <laughs> but i agree uh sent me somebody sent me a clip of josh's podcast or whatever where he was making fun of graph is apparently and i i watched some of it because instead of just to see what he would say i was wondering um and he was making fun of Graph for putting his own money into keeping Post online. And uh, he, he expl- explicitly said that if that ever happened with Kiwi Farms, if I had to put my own money to keep that site online, it would be over. I would well, turn off makes, my that computer. That begs the question, whose money, whose money is keeping Kiwi Farms Well, aside, online? just aside from that, before we get into that, I want to harp on this a little bit. He says that he would, you know, he would close his laptop, he would never use the internet again, and he would be living in the hills of Serbia where he could buy X amount of acres for $5,000, and now you would just never hear from him again. Oh, so is, oh, is this the politics I've heard so much about? That's that, what I'm that saying. Like, this, is how, this is the politics this man cares. If he cared about this stuff, he would never say anything. Like, why would he just check out? This says that he has, absolute, he has no solidarity with anyone politically. Unless there's money, it's just ch- it's and just the money chicken farmer is, nationalism and movie review nationalism. It's not even nationalism. That's, this is in, this is rugged individualism. This is not so rugged individualism. This is I'm going to quit and surrender if the uh, if the FBI money stops coming in, if the CIA payoffs stop coming in, because because that that site is not being fucking supported by its users. Those u- the users of Kiwi Farms are not people who shell out money to keep a site up. They're the same kind of people that use Post. They're just cheap fucks that want to use a free thing and never. And the idea of giving the owner of a site a dime is like a laughable. Like why would I? Why would I give him my identity and my payment identity? I would lo- I would get doxxed. Uh, I can't trust that guy. He's stupid. He's like this. The it's the internet. Um, like the internet piker libertarian, where everything is every, like if you provide a service to the internet and it doesn't have like an admission price, you're stupid, and I'm here to take advantage. That's the kind of people that are on that run that site. So it's not being paid by them. It's being paid by U.S. intelligence. I have no evidence of that, but that's, that's what I believe. Because, I mean, and this guy is a guy, he's already surrendered. He's already left the country. He lives somewhere in the hills of Serbia, as he says. So it's like, where, what are the politics? Is he trying to get back to America? No. Isn't it funny how it's always these expats yep. that, ha- that apparently have the, the strongest political opinions about how people you know trying to affect any kind of change in the united states are doing it all wrong yep it's funny uh, how that works very disingenuous so the the the, the ex the expat i know i, I just like i just like using the word na- uh, nationals for everything but these the all these expat nats are always like the because he because josh is a, is a mole bug fan it's yeah, always these expat nats that have the that are really into 
reactionary politics or or republican politics really weird how that works you know you support these different these different uh group well, I mean, groups you, you support these different individuals in the united states but uh not not enough to put your money where your mouth is mm. and live in the United States and live with the consequences of what their ideas might bring about. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure where else we're going to go with that. I just want to point that out. They're like there is there is no common ground with uh, white nationalism and Kiwi Farms. Any accidental common ground on that you may see is accidental, and you should remove yourself from that space. It's not a good place to be. He was. He will. He has basically said he will never have solidarity with anybody. He did it as an own on graph. I know, but it's. I think it's. I think it's uh, the truth that like. Uh, well, when well, when people tell you who they are, just believe them. Yep. And that's who he is. 